OK, so firstly, just a quick reminder, different chord shapes often need a different fretting hand position. Uh, it's a good idea if you don't get into the habit of having your hand in one position and just moving your fingers, you need to allow your fingers to take your hand into the new chord shape to find the most comfortable way to play. So, for example, a C chord is reasonably relaxed. I'm, uh, I'm not bending my wrist very much here. I'm just keeping it reasonably straight and just fairly relaxed shape, um, cradling the neck of the guitar a little bit. Whereas, say, with chords such as A and D, I need to be bending my wrist a little bit more so that I can reach round and not catch the strings, the open strings underneath the strings that I'm fretting. So if you can just see there, I'm bending my wrist a little bit here and my fingers are fairly tight, fairly high over the strings. So there's an A and similar position for a D. And then say a G is similar shape again to the A or similar position again to the A and the D but I'm reaching around even more, there's even more of a bend in my wrist here. So that enables me again to not catch the strings underneath the strings that I'm fretting. Now, it's quite common for people not to do that and maybe just be a little bit tense because they feel they've got, got to push down quite hard. So say if I go from a C to a G. I mean, the G doesn't sound too bad there, but when I play the individual strings, so I'm catching two of them straight away there. So if I try and play it in a better way, uh, I'll play the C. And then I've got to reach right round in order to not catch any strings when I play the G chord. So following on from that, it's very important that you don't have too much tension. Um, you want to stay as relaxed as possible in your fretting hand. Uh, you do need a little bit of tension so that you can pinch the strings onto the frets properly but you don't want much more tension than that if possible. So a way of not using too much tension is to allow your fingers to take your whole hand shape into the new chord so that your fingers aren't doing all of the work but your whole hand, including your wrist, is doing the work. And following on from that, it's quite important that you don't, what you call, invert your wrist or bend it the other way so that you're locking onto the back of the neck a little bit more. Now here, I'm really tightly gripping the neck in the palm of my fretting hand. So there's a C chord, sounds a little bit dodgy because I'm catching loads of strings because I'm not allowing myself to reach round the underside of the neck enough.